Hey, what's up, my uplifting life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is your first time getting to hear me speak. First, let me say welcome, and I appreciate the support. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, what I wanted to talk to, I've created a series called uh, The Coronavirus COVID-19 Life Lessons, where I'm talking about the different things that we're able to experience and learn while we're here in COVID-19. So, Today's topic I wanted to talk about was dating. For me, I teach there's date, dating, and intimacy. And unfortunately, we're in a society who has made dating intimacy. They're linked together. So it's kind of like every time you're going on a date with someone, it's kind of like, is this someone you would go to bed with? Is this someone that you want to marry? Really? Really? Why all that pressure? That's unnecessary pressure that you're putting on a first date. So what I share is a date is any time that you set an appointment. I could tell you, hey, two o'clock tomorrow, I'm going to give you a call. Folks, that's a date. We're not even physically together. We're just going to talk. That's a date. If we continue to date, that's called dating. Intimacy is when we start to open up inside of that relationship and let someone into me and me into you. The example I use so that people really get it is it's like an iceberg. An iceberg, you see 10% of the iceberg, 90% of it is underwater. People are the same way. You're only going to see 10% of a person's real character, personality, whatever it is you want to call it. The other 90%, the stuff under the water, they're not sharing with anyone. I, I shouldn't say with anyone, with everyone. Now, what just popped in my head was this question, because it's come up a few times, and, and I'll get back on track here, but it's this thing with the FICO score, because I've, I've had a few young ladies that have asked me that, and they, they're like, Ron, on the, on the first day, you know, I kind of like to know what his FICO score is. And I had one girl ask me that. She said, if I asked you that on the first day, now, she didn't even say FICO score. She was like, if I wanted to see your tax returns, would you be open to that? I started laughing. I said, shoot, the moment you asked me that is the moment that whole conversation would be over. I ain't got time. She was like, really? Why would you be like that? I said, my tax returns and FICO score, that's intimate information. Remember what I said? 10% is surface level. That's the stuff you'll give to everybody. The 90%, the intimate, only a few people are going to get that. Do you understand a person's credit report and FICO score is intimate information? Why would I give that? I ain't walking around telling everybody, hey, look, look at my, look at my tax returns. Hey, you want to see my, you want to know my FICO score? What makes you think you deserve that? Oh, because we're going on a date? Really? So, what does that mean? It means nothing. Not only that. Here's the thing I want a lot of you young ladies who, who are buying into that, that FICO score thing. Coronavirus, COVID-19 is proving, and again, I don't want an illness or, or something like this to validate anything that I'm doing or teaching, but this is validating my point. Do you know how many people FICO scores is getting ready to get messed up right now? Do you know how many businesses are getting ready to go out of business right now? The guy that before this happened had the great FICO score, had his own business doing well, is now getting ready to file bankruptcy in his company. Get ready to destroy his credit. But see, because you look for FICO scores, I guess he doesn't have an opportunity to, be, to date you anymore. Wow, really? Before the, the corona, you would have dated him. Now you ain't got time because he got a bad FICO score. Now I know some of you going to say, well, this is different. No, it's not. The bottom line is there are many different reasons people's FICO scores get destroyed. It doesn't tell you the character and integrity of an individual. I always try to share with people. This is not about learning what people have external which is the house and the cars and all that kind of stuff, which, hey, if you want to judge people based on that, more power to you. And, and for most people that judge, do, that do that, stay single for a long time and wonder why. 
it's because you're looking for the wrong things. Those are material things. Those are external things. Those are things that we can build together. The internal, the integrity, the character, that's what you're looking for. Because a person with great character and integrity could have a home, lose a home, but because of their character and integrity, they will get it back. They can lose a business. They can lose their, bad, their FICO score. They can lose all that stuff. Because of their character and integrity, they will get it back. I remember sharing that with a young lady and she was telling me how she understood totally what I was saying because the guy she was dating, uh, that was what happened to him. And this was way before this, you know, this stuff started taking place. But she was telling me how he, uh, his business had started doing, he was a, const a construction, he had his own construction business or something. But anyway, something happened where he pretty much, the business had almost collapsed and, um, he wasn't able to pay his bills. He Same thing, he had to declare bankruptcy. Um, matter of fact, I take that back. He didn't declare. She was saying, but his score, his credit score, that's what happened. His credit score got messed up because he refused to declare bankruptcy because he was fighting hard to pay his creditors even though his business was struggling, he wasn't able to, so his credit did take a hit. But she said, but she saw the kind of guy he was and that's what made her stay and she said, and now his business is doing well. His score, his credit score has been repaired and all that. That's my point. When she said that, I started. And then another example I was sharing with a gentleman, he was telling me, we we're talking about having this conversation. And he said, um, he said, Ron, you know, what my company does is we give money to small uh, businesses. Uh, we give them small business loans. And he said, and people are usually amazed. A lot of other companies are amazed as how, where our percentages of getting our loans paid back is very, very high. And, you know, people will ask, what do we do that's so different than all the other lenders out there? And he said, well, most lenders, what they do is they're looking for people with great credit scores. He said, what we do is we look for companies that have fallen down, but have gotten back up. He said, why? Because we know that that means they're fighters. Wow. When he shared that, I said, man, that's awesome. I said, because you just validated what I keep trying to teach in relationships. Quit looking for external stuff. Look for the internal, which is character and integrity, because the external we can build together. Because people that have the external may not have experienced anything that causes them to lose that, so you don't know how they will handle tough times. So, and this is a perfect example of the tough times. We'll see what a lot of people do. So, but hopefully you, after hearing this conversation, you'll quit judging people based on that, especially with what's going on now, that you realize that there's a lot of people that's going to take a hit and quit judging people based on that kind of stuff. But anyway, back to the conversation, which we're talking about dating. Uh, on the dating, if, again, I said date is anytime we set a time. Whether I just tell you at 5 o'clock tomorrow, I'm going to call you. That's a date. If we continue to do it where we go physically, telephone, internet, it doesn't matter. If we keep hooking up, that's called dating. Intimacy, again, is when I start sharing below-the-water information, which guess what? That's where the FICO score shows. And that's why, for me personally, it's none of your business if we ain't in an intimate relationship. So... And because you can, because ladies, I know some of you that you didn't want to hear that and you get probably got offended that I said that, but you can tell about the guy, aside from the credit score, just watch what he does. And the same thing he can tell about you. He can watch the way you act when you go out, your spending habits, everything. You can learn everything you need to know if you just watch people and listen to their conversation. So, but anyway, back to the dating. I, for, I heard, um, Recently, they said it was like, the last time I think I heard it, it was like 60% of people are hooking up on dating. It's from internet, you know, some dating site. And I'm like, is it that high now? It's like, that's crazy. So now, because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, this is a perfect time for the, those of you who said you don't have time to date. You can get a whole bunch of dating going on right now. And you can get a whole bunch of it done very quickly. Uh, because for me... That's what it is. Dating means let's go out and get to know each other. Now, you could do five, six dates in a day if you want to on the dating sites. You just go back to back. 
I got appointment at three o'clock, got appointment at five, got appointment at seven, got however you do it and, and get through and you can find it and actually get to know people, which to me is what dating is all about. Now you have more time than ever to actually do what I've tried to share with people and that's getting to know people well and then see where it goes. Now you got a built-in excuse. If you're a person that's staying in the house, they can't go out with you. You can't go to the bars. You can't go to dinner. You can't do any of that. You in the house. Now we have to have a conversation and get to know each other. Wow. Perfect time for that. And then we can decide when everyone comes back out the house if we want to go and have a physical date. But by then, we probably have built up a relationship to know that we have anything in common. So that's why this, where I was talking about the, the, the dating, if you do the online stuff. Um, and for those of you who don't want to do the online stuff, because I've had people ask me that, they go, well, how do you meet people when if you're not into online? Because I don't believe in online dating. What you have to do is first get clarity. And that's why my book is called Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partners. I said, you need to know where you're headed, what you're trying to do. If you're a person that's totally into, you're looking for someone who's into their body, they're worried about their health, then it would make sense that you yourself stop eating at Taco Bell, McDonald's, and start to eat at healthy restaurants and go to places where there's healthy food. Guess who's hanging out at those spots? People that are into their bodies. If you're into, like me, for example, I'm into self-development. I'm always into improving yourself. You know, why people think the way they think, why do they act the way they act? So if I'm looking for a young lady that's into that, wouldn't it make sense that I would find seminars and webinars and stuff where there are ladies hanging out there and guess what they're doing? They're working on themselves. So that's kind of to me what you do when you, a person that doesn't want to do the online dating, you put yourself in the environment of what it is you say that you want, but first you got to get clear on what you want. If I love bike riding, wouldn't it make sense to ride my bike when people are actually around? Not to catch. And that's the reason I keep telling people about dating. You just want to go out and just enjoy life. I said, because if you're out there to catch, as human beings, we pick up on each other's vibes. This is not a, you know, because I hear people say it's women's intuition. It ain't a woman's intuition, anything. All human beings have it. You just have to trust it. So the key is, if you go out with the intent that you're trying to catch, people are going to pick up your vibes. And you may, you may attract somebody, but it'd be the wrong person because they figure why you're there and they probably have the wrong intentions also. So, But you're putting yourself in the environment because the chances of you connecting with someone are very good because you're doing what you enjoy doing and you're around people who enjoy what you're doing. Does that make sense? So that's what you need to do for those of you who don't want to do the online dating thing. In the meantime, okay, it's going to be a little tougher being in the house to get to those spots, <laughs> you know what I mean, to hang at the at the the, 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 the the food store, the healthy food store if you're in the body, if you ain't coming out of the house. So it is going to make it a little tougher if you're a person that's, that don't want to do online dating at the present moment. But I wanted to share those kind of tips. So when you do come out of the house, get clear where you're going first so that you start to go to the right spot. So, um, and that's something that um, the list just, just popped in my head because you hear people talk about creating a list, the things that you want um, in your partner. And for me, I don't have a challenge with the list, but I always tell people, I say, everyone has a list. And the reason people say create a list is like shopping. So you don't just buy stuff that you don't need. You go in, you know exactly what you're looking for. That's kind of the, the mindset. So people are saying, do that with your partner. And so for me, I, don't, I believe everyone has a list. The question is, how thorough is your list? Your list may be, he's fine, she's, she's gorgeous, whatever the case may be. That's it. A whole bunch of people qualify, and now you understand why you're having relationship issues. The clarity in the, in the list, and this is why I believe the list comes in handy. The getting clear on the list is not for the partner. 
It's for you. Because as I said, get rid of your problems, not your partner. Because when you get that list together, you're going to find out at this moment, you don't qualify for the person you just created that you want to be in a relationship with. I know. That was, I shouldn't have said that, huh? That was wrong. <laughs> now, I know people go, what do you mean? I don't. If you did, you would already be with them. But because you don't, and again, this is not meant as a negative and it's not a stab at you or anything like that. It's saying, but get clear so that you understand. Uh, well, I need to do these things. Like, that's why I said, use that example where I'm saying, if you're saying you want a person that, that's into their body, you go, oh my goodness. Okay, I do need to stop going to the fast food restaurant. Me, for example, I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm looking for a lady who doesn't drink doesn't smoke, but if I tell you, man, I've been hanging out at all the bars trying to find a woman that don't drink, you're going to look at me like I'm stupid and say, Ron, the odds will be in your favor if you stop hanging at the bars. That's my point. But what most people do is they keep going to the bar, keep going to the bar, and they blame it on all the ladies in the bar and go, all women alcoholics, everybody drinking, I don't get it. What's wrong with the women today? Really? Ron, this is why you do the list so that you look and go, whoa, well, it would make sense for me to stop going to the bar to find a woman who doesn't drink. See, I'm making the changes. I'm not trying to get the ladies in the bar to change. I got to get me to change in the list. The clarity in the list helps me see the areas I need to adjust so that then I position myself to, to find the lady that I say that I'm looking for. But again, staying on that example of the bar, what most people do, they go in the bar, they find someone who drinks, they bring them out, try to convince them not to drink, and then say, we got relationship problems. You're supposed to. As I always keep sharing, there's two keys to relationships. One is accepting people just as they are. That's number one. And then the second one, of course, is communication. And communication means basically listening and, and, and understanding other people's perspectives. And so you notice I said accepting people as they are. So if I already go in the bar and I already know that you drink, if I accept you as you are, then I know not to bring you out of the bar and try to convince you not to. I have to already be accepting the fact that she drinks and I'm okay with that. And if I'm not okay with that, then I shouldn't be trying to talk to her. Does that make sense? Don't make this stuff too complicated. So, but anyway, the main reason why I wanted to do this on the dating is because right now is a perfect time for those of you, uh, um, because you're in the home, is to do the dating. If you do do the online dating or if you never tried it, I mean, I've heard that, again, that about 60% of dating is coming from there. So, I don't know. Maybe give it a shot. But, now you get to actually have a conversation, get to know people before you come out of the home and see some of you ladies, shoot, um, you might end up five, six dates when you come out of here <laughs> or you pay a found the one while you were doing that speed dating, being able to do five or six in a day. And, and at the end of the week, you finally found one because the reason I use an example is because a lot of ladies, you have to understand and it holds true for guys, too. Everything I share, is, it, it works both ways. I'm not one of those, this is how guys, this is when, no, it's human, it's human beings. But if you're dating once a month, you're giving yourself 12 opportunities a year to try to find the person that you say you're looking for. Think about that. Out of the billions of people in this world, you're, you're going to see 12 in a year and then wonder why you haven't found the person. The odds are against you. If you did one a week, that's four a month, 48 a year, 50 guys out of the billions of people in the world, and you you thought you were going to find the one out of 50. Now, I'm not saying that's not possible, because it is, especially if you're doing what I'm telling you, and put yourself, get your list clear, put yourself in the right arenas, so you might do it the first time you're out there. But what I'm saying is the odds are not good. It's going to be the first time. 
but you want to put yourself in the arena and as often as you can because you're giving yourself more opportunities. And so by that, some of you ladies have to become a little more friendlier. And I'm not saying you have to be aggressive, but quit acting like everybody is out to attack you. You, you, you know, you walk out the store, you're looking away like you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't look at people, you can't speak to people. And, 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 and like, I do understand there are guys out here that have issues that if you speak to them, they think you hitting on them. I understand that there's ladies. Guess what? You feel the same way. If a guy speaks to you, you think he's trying to hit on you. Some people are actually just nice. The key is how hard, if you're not interested, you just say you're not interested. But don't make the guys that don't have those kind of intentions or the guy that may be someone that you'd be interested in if you actually spoke. Don't shut yourself down. Don't shut your, yourself out of opportunities because of the fact is you're so concerned about the couple of knuckleheads that you probably will come across. But those are the ones, the knuckleheads are the ones that's going to be trying to say stuff to you even if you don't look and you ain't interested. You're going to probably get that. Without you, even if you look the other direction, the ones that you really don't want to talk to, the ones that really got the bad character and stuff, you ain't got to worry about it because they're going to make it obvious when they start, what's up, baby? Hey, mama. You, ain't, I would keep walking too. I wouldn't even look up. <laughs> but most guys, that's not going to be the issue. Or I should say, depending on the area that you hanging out in, that will be true. So, but anyway... All I wanted to tell you in this particular video, I shouldn't say all because this is, I've gone up about 20 minutes, but I really wanted to say this is the perfect opportunity to get clarity in you. If you haven't gotten my book, get it to learn more about yourself. Why do you do the things that you do? Get clearer. I talk about the list and you're also getting your list together to know what it is that you're looking for. Position yourself and watch the numbers work for you when you're using more numbers. Because when the numbers are low and you're only doing 12 a year, the numbers are working against you because you're not having enough opportunities. And again, I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying the odds are against you. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. And if you haven't had the opportunity to watch my videos, run over to ronsuchannel.com. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Uh, subscribe to the site. Leave me feedback. If there's certain topics you want me to talk on, please let me know. I enjoy doing videos. My objective is to simplify life and relationships. And hopefully I shared some of that today that hopefully simplifies some things for you guys. If I made it too complicated, let me know that too so we can make it clear and simpler. And uh, so, but as you guys know, as I always end with, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Use this time to line up some dates. And again, dating doesn't mean intimacy. It's just I'm getting to know individuals and putting the odds in my favor to find what it is that I'm looking for or who I'm looking for. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.